This is the fifth in our series of videos looking at how you complete a basic setup and configuration of a Synology network attached storage device, or as they're more commonly referred to, a NAS. In our previous video, we assigned a static IP address to our NAS. This means that we can now start to build out network share points that will be accessible to devices on our home network. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you enable file services. Now that we have logged back into the disk station manager, let's select control panel. Then under the file sharing section, we need to select file services, where we are presented with a panel displaying three network file sharing protocols, SMB, AFP, and NFS. A network file sharing protocol is simply a method that allows a computer on our network to send and receive data stored at specific locations on our NAS. If we select the down chevron next to SMB, we are presented with the settings for the server message block protocol. SMB is perhaps the most widely used protocol as it is used by computers running Microsoft Windows. Due to Windows popularity, you can see that this protocol has been enabled by default. Within the SMB settings, there is an option called Work Group. A work group is Microsoft's attempt to create a way to allow Windows computers to share files or network resources. If you are a Windows user and have created work groups on your home network, if you change the name in the work group field to the work group name that you use within your home network, the NAS will be added to your work group. Enabling file transfer log will log any user interactions with the shared files or folders on our NAS. The log can be useful to system administrators as it allows them to see who has deleted a file or moved a folder. However, as we are running our NAS in a home environment with only a limited number of users, we will be leaving this option disabled. Next, we have the SMB advanced settings. As you can see, there are a lot of SMB variables that can be changed, but for now, because we're in the process of setting up our file sharing services, we will be leaving these settings on their defaults. This will give us a baseline within which we can work, so that once we have our file sharing services up and running, if we need to, we can return to the advanced settings and tweak some of these options to try and improve performance reliability and security of our SMB file shares. Finally, in this section, we have a number of notes, one relating to enabling a recycle bin within a shared folder, something that we'll be looking at in a future video, and then a note about indexing shared folders to make it easier to search the contents of files. However, the most useful notes relate to the addresses that we will need to use to access the SMB shares via Windows or Mac OS. Next, we have AFP or Apple File Protocol. AFP is a proprietary network protocol created by Apple for its Mac OS computers. As you can see, just like SMB, AFP has been enabled by default. Next, we have the option to enable a transfer log, but again, we'll be leaving this option disabled. Within advanced settings, unlike SMB, the AFP advanced settings are limited to two options, apply default Unix permissions and release resources immediately after disconnect. Again, as we're in the process of setting up our network shares, we'll be leaving these two options disabled for now. But if we need to, we can always return to these settings at a later stage. In the notes section, we have one note relating to the backup solution for Macintosh computers called a time machine, while the second note again refers to indexing shared folders to make searching files easier. Finally, in this section, we are shown the AFP path for accessing any network shares on our NAS. If you exclusively use Windows computers on your home network, you do not need to have AFP enabled as AFP is not supported by Windows. However, if you use Macintosh computers in your home network, you will have a decision to make. 
This is because Apple currently recommend that you don't use AFP, as they will be removing it from their operating system in the near future. Instead, Apple are advising Macintosh users to use SMB, which macOS fully supports. As we are in the process of setting up file sharing on our NAS, we might as well disable AFP now. Then, if macOS computers do experience any issues with SMB, we can simply enable AFP until Apple and Synology fix the issue. Network File System, or NFS, is a protocol developed by Sun Microsystems for its Unix-based operating system. However, NFS is not a widely used protocol, which might explain why it has not been enabled by default. If you are an Apple Macintosh user, NFS is supported by macOS. However, on the Windows platform, NFS is not supported out of the box. You can see that we have two options. One is to enable NFS v4 support, and the other option is to adjust the advanced settings that allow you to customize certain elements of NFS. As we will not be using the NFS protocol, we will again disable this option. Let's now apply the changes that we've made to the settings in file services, and close the control panel. So to recap, in this video we reviewed the three protocols in file services. We then decided to only leave the SMB protocol enabled. In the next video in this series, we'll be taking a look at how you create user accounts as we continue towards the goal of creating shared folders for our home network.